There are many ways of answering science conceptual questions, and yeah, memorizing the tons of formulas for science concepts can help us answer these types of questions. However, there's only one way of breaking units open, and there's so few units you have to know for MCAT. So why not break units open and use them to help you answer science conceptual questions? I'll show you what I mean with this MCAT question. If a resistor in a circuit is replaced with one with higher resistance, which of the following will decrease? Resistance itself can be a difficult topic, and the answer choices have a lot of different complex concepts to process with regard to changes in resistance. But we're gonna keep it simple by breaking units open and using them to help us quickly answer this question. The unit of resistance is ohms, and ohms always first breaks open into volts per amps. Volts is the unit of voltage, and amps is the unit of current. So let's start here and try to narrow down answer choices. If resistance increases, voltage will also increase because ohms and volts are directly related to each other. So we can eliminate A. Also, with the same units, we can see that if resistance increases, current will decrease because ohms and amps are inversely related to each other. So B is a possible correct answer. But in order to choose B, we still have to confirm that energy in time would not decrease as resistance is increased. So let's continue to break units open. The volt always first breaks open into joules per coulomb, and joules is the unit of energy. And the amp always breaks open into coulombs per second. And do notice that the coulombs per second is inverted because amps is in the denominator of the original unit fraction. So now, as resistance increases, energy also increases because ohms and joules are directly related, which eliminates answer choice C. Likewise, as resistance increases, time increases because the ohms and seconds are also directly related, which eliminates answer choice D and confirms that answer choice B is the correct answer. Simple as that. In the description below this video, there's a link to Amazon to get your own MCAT without memorizing formulas book with tons of practice questions and detailed solutions to learn how to break units open and solve MCAT questions super easily and quickly without memorizing tons of formulas.